Hey there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an audio player in Webflow that can play audio files from the CMS using the SuperSparks app. With this audio player, you can then build a wide range of no-code audio projects, such as musician or podcast websites, stock music marketplaces like an epidemic sound for a certain niche, guided meditation programs, and much, much more. Let's get started. First, let's take a quick look at an example. So here is a custom audio player built in the Webflow Designer. And on this project, there is a CMS collection for songs. So let's take a look at that. And inside this collection is a field where I pasted the audio file URLs for each song. So you can see that right here. Now, to enable this, you're going to want to go to SuperSparks, which you can also find the link in the description. Now, let's start off by connecting our project. So you just want to select the project that you want to add the audio player app to and click Authorize. And then you'll see Confetti. After successfully connecting your project, the next step is to click Add Sparks. And then you're going to want to click Start Trial for the CMS Audio Player app. Then you'll be directed to the installation page, which should take under five minutes to go through. The first steps on the installation page are to select the CMS collection and field with your audio file URLs. So let's do that. So we're going to want to select the songs collection, which is the one we looked at in the example, and then select audio files for the field, which is where we're pasting the URLs to the audio files. Now, very quickly, if you are unsure how to provide URLs for audio files, you can actually do this easily and for free using Dropbox and Google Drive. Then for the next step, it's very important that you have a CMS class wrapper on your page that is connected to the CMS collection with your audio files. So as you can see here, we have the wrapper that is connected to the songs collection. So this determines which audio files get played on a certain page. And you would also want to use this element to show any relevant audio file data, such as song name, artist, and album cover. So let's get started by pasting in the class to the wrapper. So let's go back to SuperSparks, copy this class, and paste it in here. So very important that we paste it into the wrapper, not the list or the items. Then the next step is to paste the play and pause button classes. So let's just go back to SuperSparks copy the play button class and paste it in here. So this is our play button. And then copy the pause button and paste it to this link block here. These classes will work for a variety of design elements on Webflow, such as images, link blocks, divs, buttons, and more. Then the next step is to add this embed code to your CMS element. So first press copy, and then we're just going to go back to Webflow. And then we're just going to drag this embed element into the CMS item. So it's very important that it goes in here. And then we're just going to paste the code and save and close. And for best practices, you should add in a class name here. So CMS item embed, let's call it. And then hide this element afterwards. The next step is to copy this code snippet and paste it into the body of every page with your audio player. So let's do that. Just click copy, go back to Webflow. And then we're just going to go to the settings of the page we want to add this code to. So this is the albums CMS template page. And then we're just going to paste it here and click save. 
Next, you're going to want to create a webhook in your project settings. So let's copy this webhook URL and then go to project settings on Webflow. And then we're just going to go to the integrations tab. Scroll down and click add webhook and paste the URL in here and then select site publish. Then we can get started adding extra functions of our choosing. SuperSparks only has six right now, but there's more to come in the future. We can start off by adding the next button. So let's just copy the class here and then go back to the albums page. And then we're just going to paste this class in here. And then let's paste the previous button class onto our previous button in the designer. Then for the progress bar, if we go back to Webflow, you will see a parent container, which is the space your progress bar would fill as the audio file progresses. So I'm just going to paste the class into the progress bar div below this container. So let's do that. Copy and then paste it into here. And then as you can see, the progress bar's width is set to 0%, but once the site is live, this width would dynamically increase as the audio file progresses. Then you can add the timeline select, which will allow users to jump ahead or back to certain points in the audio file. So let's do that. And this is also in the parent container from before. Then last but not least are the duration and elapsed time functions. So let's just copy the class for this function and add it to this text element and then copy the elapsed class and add it to this text element. Once published, this elapsed number will increase second by second as the audio file progresses. And just a heads up, these functions will only work on text elements. The last steps of the installation process are to publish your changes on Webflow and go live on SuperSpark. So let's just go back to the Webflow project and we're just gonna press publish here. And after that's done, we're just going to go back to SuperSparks and press go live. Once the app is live on SuperSparks, there's a few tips that I encourage you read through. But without further ado, let's see and hear the audio player in action. So just gonna press here and press play. And we can jump ahead, jump back, go to the next song. And wow, this MC Mitchell really has a wide range of genres on this album. Okay, we can also go to the previous song and cap it off with a pause. If you happen to like my Spotify knockoff in this example, I'm going to provide a link in the description where you can clone it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We are, of course, just scratching the surface on what's possible on this audio player. In this example, you can see I'm using CMS referencing, so songs play on certain album pages. I was also thinking about creating a few playlists as well. So overall, there is a lot of flexibility here. Let me know what type of audio project you are planning to build in the comments section. And thanks for watching and take care.